I'm one of older creators. And this week I'm going to show you how you can deploy your first VPS on Vulter. With that being said, let's go and deploy our first server. Now we are at our Vulter dashboard. Uh, to deploy your VPS, you will need to click this plus button over here and select deploy new server. Here in deployment menu, you can select the type of server that suits your needs. Today we are going to work with cloud compute because this one is the cheapest one and it's a good option for starting. Okay, so let's select this one. Then you can select your CPU and storage technology. Uh, I will go with high frequency Intel, Xeon CPU and over here you can select your location. Uh, I would suggest that you select the location closest to you. Uh, in my case, the closest location will be in Sweden. I will keep Stockholm. Uh, over here, you can select from a variety of applications. Uh, mostly of them are Linux distributions. Also, you have Windows, but Windows will cost you extra $14 per month. Over here, we have a marketplace apps. Uh, if you are building a website, you will probably go with something like WordPress or over here we have PestaShop or WooCommerce. This is the most popular ones that most of people will use starting. Okay, so in our case, we are going to use operation system. It will be Ubuntu and I will go with 18.4 LTC. Over here we have our plans. If you are starting to build a website, you will probably go with something like this or this option. This is plenty of power to run a basic website that has not much traffic. You have 80 gigabyte of NVMe drive, two CPU cores, two gigs of RAM, and you have three terabyte of bandwidth. Uh, so this is more than enough for starting a website project. Okay, we are going to go down here. I will strongly recommend you to do the auto backups. It will be 360 per month, but it will save you a lot of headache. Over here, we have additional features. If you are launching website, I will strongly recommend you to use DOS protection. This will be $20 a month, but it will save you a lot of headache if you have a DOS attack. Let's name it test VPS and deploy. You can see that our server is deploying, our location is Stockholm, and in less than five minutes our server will be up and running. Okay, you can see that our VPS is running now. Let's go over here to get our server details. Over here you can track your used bandwidth, your CPU usage and the current charges you have. The important credentials that you have is your IP address, your username and your password, which you can reveal over here. Since our server is running, I will show you how to do an SSH connection using your IP address. We will need to go to our terminal and type SSH at our user, in this case it's root, oops, root at our IP address 70 dot three four dot two zero zero dot two one two and enter now we are asked for the password we will copy our password from over here copy and with right click of a mouse we will paste right click paste and enter okay you can see that we have successfully logged into our server now we can easily deploy a website or build some application well, you have seen that we did deploy our server on Vulter in less than five minutes. Now you have your own dedicated server and you can create your website or any other application that you need. This was Alex and hope to see you next week on Vulter.